Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon Janice with the Start Guys here. Uh, super stoked for today's guest, a good friend of mine out of Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, we uh, were in a, a prior business together. Uh, I'm still doing the business. He, he, he decided to go on to some, some different things and, and it's acts a- absolutely crushed it and took it to a completely different level. So I was thinking about people I wanted to interview that, um, that are just going to figure it out, are just going to get it done, right? Don't Don't make any excuses. Like this dude, you talk about somebody who doesn't make excuses. He just decided this is my prize. I'm gonna go get it and he's doing it right now. So with that being said, I'm excited to introduce you guys to my man, Jay Combs. Jay, how you doing, brother? What's up, buddy? Awesome. Doing great, doing great. Hey, thanks for jumping on. I know you're one of the busiest people I know. So I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me. So Jay, the big question, the big question, man, you know, what is or what was your big? What was your big thing that maybe you put off for a minute, but then you decided I'm going to go for it? What was that for you, man? Well, man, just to be honest with you, Brandon, it wasn't a, a big thing. Um, it, it was just, um, you know, I've always been an action taker. And I, I think uh, the number one thing that our generation, especially my generation, being in your 20s is a lull in life. You know, there's no direction. Um, There's no structure. And I really, I mean, I'm a firm believer in in provide structure and you can grow exponentially. Um, Dude, I I didn't know. I mean, you know, it's funny. I got into real estate. uh, And the only reason I got into real estate is I paid for these classes um, two years ago, roughly about two years ago. I paid for these classes. I'm not an online learner. So I paid for these classes, took this, this course for two weeks, and then just quit and went back to work. And then we're like, dude. It was uh, a year later, and I got an email saying, hey, this, this, uh, this, this class that you've already paid for is about to expire. You're going to have to repay for it. But okay, I better go ahead and finish it and do it, or I just wasted 400 bucks. And it's crazy, man. I was working, 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 and, you know, I'm a, I'm a tunnel vision kind of guy. And I totally forgot about Well, then I finally got my license, and I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to go in real estate. It's something I think that I can go and do and pursue. And I always kind of liked it, but, you know, I just – there wasn't any structure for me. I didn't know what to do. Right. And finally I just said, screw it. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to figure it out. The road may get bumpy, but I'm going to do it. And I got my real estate license. And after that, I think within 60 days, quit my job and went full time into real estate. So let me ask you, what was it that, what was the trigger, man? Was it, was it honestly just that email that came in and said, Jay, this is going to expire. Was that it? Yeah, dude, I mean, it was like, <laughs> here's the thing. I don't, I, so, I mean, like I was working, uh, I was training at Verizon, and um, literally, so, I mean, I wasn't happy. You know what I mean? I'll tell you, I just wasn't happy. I was one of the top sales uh, performers there, training people and training all the new hires. And I liked it, comfortable, good living, um, you know, making close to 100000 100, a year, yep. uh, which is okay, but, you know, just, you know, I had bigger goals. And then one day, I just clicked and said, okay, cool. Well, I didn't know how much money you could make in real estate. My, my goal for my first year was 125000 You know, I mean, I didn't know if that was a, a lofty goal yeah. or if it was, you know, something that it would take me two years to be able to hit. Well, I mean, I just, I literally, so I, I mean, at, me and Brandon, uh, we, we did multi, multi-level marketing in, in the past together. And I t- took what I learned there and applied. And so all I did, man, is I, I, I went through my cell phone. I looked at my power base and I said, hey, just so you guys know, I just found out something awesome. I just got in my real estate business and I'm your guy. Yeah. And I literally hit every single person in my contact in my database. And then, you know, before I even knew it, I mean, I couldn't write a freaking contract in, in full disclosure. I mean, I don't know if I should say this out loud. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I had my brokers. I couldn't write a contract to save my life, man. I'm over there grinding. I'm like, okay, hey, got a deal here. Got a deal here. And, I, and before I know it, I've got two or three deals under contract. And dude, I... To be honest, I had about this much real estate knowledge. I just knew apply, apply, yeah. apply. And then, and then, you know, I, I met my, my business partner and then he kind of taught me a little structure, which, you know, I mean, he's, he's a, he's just a, a go or go, 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 yeah. go too. Uh, and, but you know, I started, I, I started understanding the business side of it, not just the application. And then I started growing that and, um, you know, first year in business, uh, I think solo, I closed over. Uh, 50 transactions, um, you know, roughly right there, a uh, combination, um, our, me and my, we, we, me and my business partner, I think my fourth month into real estate, we kind of merged 
our business. You know, we were both told to watch out for each other and we merged <laughs> our business together. And, you know, one day we were like, Hey, instead of, you know, fighting for number one, let's collaborate and let's do it together. Went and had a couple of beers at Aubrey's and, and just hit it off. And then, um, we did just, just under 120 transactions combined, uh, our first year in the business. And, uh, this year, year to date, we're probably about 64 transactions, you know, uh, goal is to be 150 170 transactions second year in the business amazing and for those of you that don't know real estate just go google what that means because that's a lot of transactions i i'm a little bit familiar with real estate and i know like what they're doing is is crazy for a team of two people much less for for what he did individually but it's stupid like some some offices yeah. don't do that the well. average <laughs> just so you know the average in, in tennessee is 5.2 transactions a year. For there, you go. there you go. So if you're, <laughs> you know, not to, not to, yeah, not not to, to go, go. So you don't have to that. Google. You don't have to Google. Jay just answered it for you. But I know, yeah. like, that's just a massive number. But Jay, let me ask you. Yeah. Man, so you were comfortable at your previous job. You were comfortable at Verizon. Yeah. I mean, most people, it, it's sure. just good, and they're just going to continue to go through that. And maybe there was an opportunity to make maybe 150, maybe 200. I don't know where it would have maxed out there, but. You know, what, what was it, man, that made you, because I, I know the email came in and you're like, okay, I got to go do something, but what was it? Was it just because you weren't in your gift zone? What was it that made you be like, all right, I'm going to go. And then, you know, six months later to say, okay, I'm all in. I quit my comfort. I quit my security. I'm going to go do this thing. What were those things for you? So I was actually, um, one of my mentors, um, one of his like associates, not even one of his associates one of his business partners that he has a business collaboration with. So there's two, two types of people. You've got people with drive and you have those that don't. And it's okay to not have it, but you've got to get it. You know, I've, I've always had drive. Yeah. Never won. And dude, I've, my number one thing, part of my personality is I'm a, I'm a competitor. And I really don't, I don't even believe in competition. I want to be first. And if I'm not first, I don't want to be recognized for anything but first. And I, really, I mean, I'm, I'm that type of person. My business partner is the exact same way. Um, dude, we're just, I just, I just always knew, you know what I mean? I've always known, even though, even when I was younger, man, I mean, even when I was at Buckle, I mean, I worked at Buckle when I was 20 years old, it sold a hundred thousand dollars worth of blue jeans in a month. People just thought that was the craziest thing ever. And I just always wanted to be number one. I hated being second. So, you know, I got comfortable with it. I crushed it. You know, it was one of the top in my business there. And dude, it was just, you know, it is easy when you become the 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 bigger fish in your pond to 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 rest on your laurels, right? And so, dude, really, what it was is that that that's one email, bro. It, it's it was a it was a spark. Yeah. And dude, it literally okay. Hey, it's a new chapter. I don't know where it's going to go. And honestly, dude, I didn't know if it was the right thing to do. I mean, truly, I didn't know. I mean, I I, I had fear, right? Um, I didn't no, no, know. Well, let me I, hit on that. Let me hit on that. So so the fact you didn't know it was the right thing to do, but you knew you had to do something. You knew there was something else than Verizon. And I want you, cause my next question, and you were going there, what were the obstacles and the fear, bro? Tell me about that. Tell me about the obstacles and the fear, because I remember meeting with you right after you joined with Eli and you said, people think we're crazy. Two new guys going out there and, and, and doing this thing. Like, so give me some it's of the inside me hearing all this. Oh, cool, cool. Cool. Yeah. Give me some of the obstacles and fears that you or your, you guys had together to, you know, going to do this thing, whether it was before you transitioned or right now or what's happening, you know, what are those things? Because Jay, there's thousands of people that are where you are that, that, yeah. that have desire, that have drive, but won't act, won't do it because of the obstacles, the fears, whatever they are. Tell me some of those, man. Well, dude, so it, it goes back to my original thing, the, the structure. Um, and I told, like, you know, I was going to go into this group coaching and I uh, found after, like, you know, 20 days, like, that's not for me. I need something bigger. And it's still now, I mean, like, my mentors, I mean, I want the elite, the top, top. Uh, but, you know, I didn't know, dude, I didn't know anything about real estate. They give you a two-week class about how not to get sued. And they, they go and they say, hey, you paid this $2,000 good luck. And that's it. You know I mean? And that's why I chose Keller Williams of all companies because they have a training platform. But really dude, I, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I mean, it, it was, it's literally one of those things like, you know, MLM or just I mean, really any, any self-starting business entrepreneurship, you don't know what you don't know. And so really dude, the, the first 60 days I was just doing me and I was just, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm making calls. I'm meeting people. 
I'm like, hey, what do I do need to do? I don't need you to you know, pat me on the butt and tell me to do this. I said, give me the structure and what's to do. Give me the foundation so that I can freaking blow this thing up, you know, 5,000 stories. And then so, you know, that was the, the fear. I mean, did, you're, I'm leaving a job where I know every month I'm going to make seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, no matter what. Like, I know I could, yeah. I could do it in my sleep into a position where I've got, you know, maybe $30,000 in commissions on paper, but it doesn't mean it's going to, it's going to go through. So dude, I took a leap of faith, dude. And I, I set it, uh, I set it for July by, by my birthday month and dude, two months prior to two months before I said, screw it, dude, sink or swim. Like, I'm, I'm just going to do it. You know, if I fall, dude, I'm going to fall forward. I'm going to fail forward. And I'm going to freaking just do it. And, um, so when I finally made that commitment, dude, that's when it went. Yeah. And literally that month that I, I went all in, um, I sold 10 houses solo. This is before me and Eli truly linked up, but nine or 10 and had a, my first $50,000 a month. Dude, I never, never in my life, you know, <laughs> could think that. And now, man, you know, it, it's crazy. Um, I was talking to Nick uh, about things. But now I can actually understand and I can I can truly embody how it's going to feel when I make my first million and not million collectively, my million in, in 12 months. Yeah. $83,000 a month. And, and I'm getting closer. You know, every month there's like, you know, hey, you know, me and Eli, last December we hit our first $100,000 a month collectively. It was like, it was like 120, 120000 which is awesome. You know, we, we had to help a lot of families. But really, you know, Growing the business and understanding it, you know, it's been a year and three months for me now to where I'm at now. And it's I'm every day learning, every day growing. Um, and, the, you know, the next step that, that I want to do is, is help other people do the exact same thing and provide that, you know, provide that value. You know, I mean, I can never teach somebody how to hustle, but I can, you know, put that foundation in place yeah. to help if they want to hustle, if they have the hustle. Because here's the thing, anyone can do it, whatever. You know, I mean, I could, I could teach somebody how to do certain things. And so could you, as long as they have the willpower to actually go and do it. And that's, that's kind of like, you know, where, where we're at now is growing that business, adding people in, deleting people out, you know, and, and finding, you know, that just alpha dominant people that want to soar. Yeah. You know, no that's what we're doing. If any of you guys are, are, are watching this and you guys are looking for a freaking stud group of, of, of hustlers, they're going to the next level. We'd love to hire you. Well, that's my, my next question, Jay. Where, where can they find you guys, man? I know you're in Knoxville. Sounds like y'all are branching out to Nashville. Where can people find you on social or website or whatever? How do people follow you, man? Absolutely. So we're on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Uh, if you go in, in Facebook, me, it's just Jay Combs, J A Y C O M B E S. Uh, the Combs and Quorum group. Uh, it's a real estate page. Honestly, Google us. You know, Google Knoxville homeowners. Dot com. That's our webpage. Um, multiple, multiple. I mean, any, any social media platform we're on, uh, I will say I'm not a big Twitter user. Uh, I just never jump on that bandwagon. So I've got one, but you'll see a post like every three months. Gotcha. So, so, so anything but Twitter. Anything but Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jay, I got two more quick questions for you. Uh, sure. One, um, what, would, what would that one piece of advice, because how old are you, Jay? 26, 27? 26. 26, I'll be 27 in July. Okay, so again, there's a lot of people at your age, millennials, man, that are just like, man, I don't know what to do. I'm My lost. business partner is, is, what, 23? My business partner is 23. Go. 23 and 26 years old. There's a lot million of people four. that are in your shoes right now and are lost, man, and are, and, are, and are subscribing to the notion that, you know what, I'm gonna work at Verizon forever, or I'm gonna work at this forever, I'm gonna do this forever, and they're just, give, they're just giving in to that. What would be the one piece of advice you would give them, man? I mean, I know this is a loaded question because there's probably a thousand things you'd say, but if you had to tell that one person, you had you know, 30 seconds to talk to them, what are you gonna tell them? Consider the source. Really, um, you know, I think that I, I, I cut, trim the fat is what I'd say. I cut everybody, I mean, including, you know, I mean, I'll cut my own family out if, if they're not feeding the dream. Um, your, your belief, your true belief, if you think, hey, this is the only thing that I can do, that's it. I mean, and there's nothing. Wow. Your brain, your, your mindset has more opportunity than anything else. There's no one that can go and put that in um, than, than, your, than your mindset. And so what I would advise 
is find someone that's where the, where you want to go. Listen to how they're using their mind, listen to their mindset and find a way. And in one way, I mean, it, it's hard to find a mentor. It really is. Yeah. One question I got, I got it from, um, Damon John. Um, he said, listen, go out and, and provide value to that person unconditionally without, without wanting anything in return. And say, hey, listen, if I can bring value to you and actually do it, you know, if I can actually bring the value to you, would you take time out and, and, wow. and pour the knowledge back to me? So find, find someone that's where you want to be. Yeah. But first, you have to make the commitment yourself. You really do. I mean, it, it's, it's always, you know, I mean, there's no one that's going to be, um, be there for you at the end of the day other than yourself, you know, when it, when it all hits the fan. So first, take that, uh, take the leap of faith, change your mindset and, and commit to it. And then follow the action plan and find a mentor. That's huge. Again, I've known Jay for five years or so now, and I knew, I know him well enough to know it's going to be something about finding somebody that's where you want to be because he's always done that. And that's why he's put himself in the position that he's in. He's always sought mentors. He's always sought the people that are where he wants to be. And he lives by that. And, and that's great advice for anyone. Who are the five people that are leading you? Who are you letting speak into your life? And Jay's always been so good at that. Even at the you know, age of 25, 26 years old, he's always known that was smart. All right, Jay, last one, bro, and I'll let you run. What is your big today, man? You guys are conquering it. You guys are killing it. What's next for, for Jay Combs? What, what is your big right now looking forward in the next two, three, four, five years? Man. There's a lot, dude. There's so much. <laughs> I, I, I could take an hour segment on this one, but I'll keep it quick. Um, brother, truly, and, and, and I embody this and I write down goals every day, but I want to have the largest real estate platform in the, in, in, the, in the United States. I don't know if I'm going to drift out and go international, but really, I mean, when I, when I sink my teeth into it, um, I want to be involved in the largest platform and that you know, means growing exponentially. And that's, that's you know, you know, I'm going to be real. It's going to be hard for me to do that in five. Um, but I do plan on being the number one in my state, the number one in my region, the number one in my, you know, southeast United States. Um, and by doing that, I'm going to have to have a lot of people yep. um, that come in, in, into the organization and pour into those people. Um, ultimately, I understand some will fall and some will, some yep. will stay. But also, um, I've got a cool story. You know, I mean, everybody's got a cool story. Everything about business is based on stories. Yeah. And, you know, I've got a lot of backstory. You know, what, what, what you're seeing right now is, you know, is, is literally the tip of the iceberg on where I've come from. Um, but I, I want to give back. I mean, ultimately, like, I, I like selling real estate. I like closing. You know, the, my top two favorite things in, in real estate is negotiating and closing. Those are my two things. If I could yeah. cut everything out, out, dude, I would be the happiest person ever. Um, but my number one, truly, the, the, the thing that um, I enjoy the most is helping other people acquire and obtain their goals. So I'm a, um, you know, it's, it's one of my goals to start an online platform where I can teach people, maybe in, in, in my, uh, my space first, real estate sure. uh, first, and then maybe outsourcing and go into different platforms. I'm going to stick with what I'm doing now. Uh, and really give back, man. It's it's something that's it's been on my yeah. It's, it's always been something to me, but it's really it's getting heavier and heavier on 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 like what I do, so that I can I can have continual growth, um, because I think you, you know ultimately once you build a business, you have to find out the, the the one or two different things that you really you know it keeps you up at night to to have that fire you know twenty years from now yeah. you know I think growing and helping other people. Um, grow with me uh, is really what's going to, what's going to uh, give me the exponential growth. And really it's going to, it's going to provide purpose for my life. Yeah. You know, give me that, that, that fulfilling meaning. Um, and and, and God, not to cut you off and, and guys, just so you guys know, you know, we talked a lot of numbers today, but I know Jay's heart. I know who Jay is as a person and I know his made number one goal. Cause we've talked a couple of times uh, is to go help make, a few people millionaires, however many that is, help make you know people a uh, hundred thousand heirs or whatever that's going to be. I know that's their goal. I know that's what they're going to go do. So again, guys, this is a you know Jay and Eli have been doing this a year and a half, two years. This is a startup. You know, like if you want to be a part of a startup with a couple of guys that are going to go do this thing, there's Eli over there. So. Right. Eli. 
So if you guys want to be involved in something big, if you guys want to be in, involved in something special, you got to hustle. You got to be willing to be coachable. These guys will lock arms with you and help you do something. Jay, I can't thank you enough, brother. I know you guys are so busy. Go, go sell some homes. Go do your thing, brother. I love you. I appreciate you. And we'll catch up soon. Absolutely. All right, bro. All right dude. Uh -huh.